In the recent past, an increase in the use of inverters in renewable energy sources has been observed. This, however, brings about issues of injecting harmonics in the output waveform of the power electronic converters. These harmonics affect the grid for the grid-connected inverters, and they also affect the nearby sensitive loads in the islanded inverters. Now, to eliminate these harmonics, a low-pass filter between the power source and the grid or the load can be connected. But before we continue, please hit like and subscribe button. So different filters are available, but the selection of these filters depends on the weights, the cost, power losses, and the volume of the filter. The level of harmonics and the noise in the switching frequency for the three-phase generated current should be very low. And this should be below the levels allowed by the IEEE standards that I'm going to leave in the link in the description box. So it should be less than 5%. The low-pass filters range from the L filter, LC filter, LCL filter, and LCCL filter. And they can get as complex as they can depending on the system that you are designing. An L filter is a first order filter with an attenuation of minus 20 decibels per decade that can be employed in inverters with high switching frequencies. This type is less costly and it's very easy to implement. An LC filter, on the other hand, is a second order filter with an attenuation capability of minus 40 decibels per decade. So this includes an inductor and a capacitor. So a capacitor in this type of a filter is shunted across the inductor for the purpose of producing low reluctance for attenuation of via switching frequencies. A third order inductor capacitor inductor or rather LCL filter is a good alternative to get a higher attenuation of minus 60 decibels per decade for frequencies higher than the resonance frequency. So the resonance frequency for an LCL filter is given by 1 over 2 pi times the root of L1 plus L2 divided by the product of L1, L2 and the capacitance. So some of the advantages of an LCL filter includes the improved system stability, flexibility where you can easily tune the parameters of an LCL filter these parameters being the inductor and the capacitor, you can easily tune to suit the system requirements. An LCL filter has higher efficiency compared to an LC or an L filter and has a compact size and it has improved system stability. But despite the aforementioned advantages of an LCL filter, it becomes unstable in the converter circuitry especially if some harmonic voltages or currents are close to the resonant frequency. And to attenuate the possible resonance caused by high-order power filters, harmonics near to resonant frequency may be damped by shunting a resistor to a capacitor or connecting it in series with a shunted capacitor. So the schematic layout of a two-level voltage source inverter interconnected with a DC voltage source with a renewable energy source and an LCL filter interconnected can be seen in this circuit. Now let's carry out an example of how we can calculate the values of the inductance and the capacitance in an inverter that is rated as 100 kVA and the other parameters being input voltage 800 volts DC, switching frequency 10 kHz, resonance frequency 1 kHz, and the nominal frequency is 50 Hz. In designing our filter, a 10% ripple of the rated current has been considered. The VDC has been selected as 800 volts after the calculation gave us 816, so we selected the closest, which is 800 volts. Remember the modulation index MI is selected as 0 0.8 and remember it shouldn't be above 1. Okay, let's say inverter side inductance L1. We use the following formula and the value of the inductance L1 gives us 500 microhenry. 
and L2 is a function of the inverter side inductance, which gives us 0.3 times L1, giving us 150 microhenry. And to calculate the total inductance, we calculate total inductance as L1 plus L2, which is equal to 650 microhenry. The value of the capacitor CF is given by 0.3 times C base, which gives us 100 microfarad. So on this channel, we've used the filters in different systems. We've used it in three-phase islanded inverters. We've also used it in a three-phase grid-connected inverter and in single-phase grid-connected inverter and also in single-phase islanded inverter. So you can watch any of these videos on the channel if you'd want to see how we implement these filters to eliminate harmonics.